Look right now. What do you got right now? I just got a Fed. And what did they tell me? What did they tell me, Joe? The FOMC? The yeah, Fed. What did, they, what did the Fed just the, tell me? The, 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 the spigots are open. They're the going to stay open. And what did they say? They say they want economic growth, right? Is that what they said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they said, we want economic growth, and we don't even care. Not only do we not care if there's inflation, but we want a little bit more inflation. Have they ever said that before? Have you remember in your career before this? No. Did they say it? No. So QE2 They said is they want the market up. Okay, so what am I? I'm going to say, no, Fed, I, I disagree with you. I don't want to be long. I don't want to be long equities. We're a bond place, but we changed up to a little bit more equities but recently. Can be, couldn't you be long everything? You have to be careful Except because... Except the dollar. Yeah, everything but the dollar. Well, right now, what's going to happen, right? Two things are happening. It's, it's, it's that easy sometimes. So either the economy is going to get better by itself in the next three months, and what assets are going to do well? You can guess the assets are going to do well. Stocks are going to do well. Bonds won't do so well. Gold won't do as well. Or the economy is not going to pick up in the next three months, and the Fed's going to come in with QE, right? Then what's going to do well? Everything in the near term. Everything. Not bonds. Bonds will because we're going to be by bonds. Not in the long term, but the near term. Gold, stocks. So let's see. So what I got is I got two different situations. One, the Fed, the, the economy gets better by itself. Stocks are better. Bonds are worse. Gold's probably worse, if you want to talk about those three assets. The other situation is the Fed comes in with money. Now, up to the point the Fed comes in with money, the stock market can go down a little bit, but not that much because I got a put. You got to love a put, um, especially when the government's issuing it. Um, so I can't go down that much. It doesn't mean I go up to that point, but after that, I'm going up, okay? So what do I do? I got to buy. I can't take the chance of not being a little bit longer now. That's not means I'm going, you know, balls to the walls. Can you say that? I balls think so. Okay, okay. You, can, you can say that. I can say that. <laughs> balls to the walls. Balls yeah, to the walls. That's good. I'm glad you, you said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll say it a couple times. So, you know, it's that easy. That's how easy it is right now. But does that mean that people who are investing in gold right now are stupid because it's not a sure thing? It could go down? It's not, they're not that they're stupid. If you're going to build a portfolio, now I don't own gold, but I can understand why you might. Right. Because you're, it's a question of how much it will go up versus how much it will go down. Okay. Right? And you're not going to get, you know, you're not going to get crazy growth on its own. Right. So you're going to get a better growth. That doesn't mean gold's going to plummet because interest rates are going to go sky high. That means gold won't perform and it probably will go down a little bit. Okay? But it, it doesn't have to go up. So, I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> you can't be that negative and you can't be that, you, who knows? Yeah. You know, who, the government doesn't know. So we don't it, know. Uh, is going short the dollar part of the equation? Or do you need to do that? Uh, again, if you get stronger on your own, it's it's probably okay because generally if the world's stronger, the euro gets stronger. But it's not, again, are you trying to figure out is the economy going to get better by itself or not? And, and frankly, I don't know. It's either going to get better or it's going to get worse. So you talk about, you ask the question, when do you get moments? Well, kind of, this might be one of those. Kind of. Because so you're sitting in a situation where your downside's not that big. It, you, you guys like to talk equities. We do a lot of bonds. But... Mm -hmm. Your, your downside is not that big in equity, and you have this potential. Either the economy is good, and you make a, a lot of money. I was going to say a, 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 a bad word. A yeah, boatload. Boatload. <laughs> boat boat load. Boat load. Yeah, a I was going to say a shih tzu load. A, a shih tzu load of money. Yeah, you, you make that. a shih tzu. I can say it's that. It's a big okay. dog. I almost came out of my mouth. I, well, I have, all right. a, I have a little Yorkie name. You know what? Worst comes to worst. Oh, you know what? Worst comes to worst, it's cable. I told my mom I'd say hi to her. So Hi, mom. Good. Right. Yes, <laughs> that's fine. She's got to be loving this right now. Well, I'm sure she doesn't hate it. <laughs> hey, but um, when you say a moment, yeah. you mean this past Fed statement. Yeah, yeah. You, well, you have things leading up to it, too. Think about where we were back in May. I mean, this was uh, May, June. It was ugly. I mean, we were in deep, dark shih tzu. Shih tzu. <laughs> um, so what did you have? You had, you didn't know if, where the European situation is. You had all kinds of refinancings coming up, Spain, et cetera. Well, guess what? What happened? They actually refinanced their debt. Yeah. No, no, that's pretty good. Not bad. So we're worried about China, you know, crashing. Now, cr China may crash in the future, but we're worrying about it now with the PMI and there's still currency stuff going on. But generally speaking, China's weak is strengthening their currency. The PMI in China hasn't been a hard landing that bad. So that's not so bad. Still may be, but it's a little better. Okay, taxes. I was worried about taxes. What are they going to do? Well, now I know. I mean, either they're going to extend it this year, or they're going to definitely extend it uh, for uh, uh, below 250 next year. There's no question. It's done. Okay, but so that's done. Bas basil, basil, however you want to say it. Done. Um, actually, M2. I don't know if you guys look at M2. M2's been growing mm -hmm. for the last 10 weeks. Growing. 
Now, it's grown before QE. That's kind of a good thing. If you looked what happened when the market went up, um, you know, March, started going up in March of 09, guess what happened before that? The money supply went up, right? Mm -hmm. Money supply always goes up and the market moves afterwards. It doesn't go necessarily go up. The market doesn't necessarily go up when the money supply is moving up, but at some point it does push it up. That's kind of kind of not bad. Politics. Well, I don't know if the Republicans are winning. I don't care because it's going to get closer. So the uncertainty that everybody's talking about is going to be less. Is it going to be none? Of course not. But it's going to be less. So that's better. Japan. Well, I noticed that they're doing a kind of QE right now, right? Because they're not sterilizing their currency. Can't be bad. And then what do I get? All that stuff. And that's all nice stuff. And all those things. Boom, 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 boom. Could have been all negative. Not negatives, all positives. And then what do I get afterwards? I get this Fed statement. And people saying, well, I don't know, da, 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 da. Well, that's what it is. It's, that's, that's the easiest part of it. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. And if it doesn't work, what happens? Backstop that's it. The government that's how easy it, it is. Oh, wow. So you ask, you ask sometimes where it's at. So what's my biggest worry now? Now, I'm, I don't own 100% equities in Appaloosa, but we have increased our equity allocation. I, individual stocks or do you do it some other way? We do it every way, Joe. You do it every way. Well, so not, not stocks I'm talking about, not what, what you do every yeah, way, Joe. Well, but, but, but nobody you, does it the way Joe does. Right, you would buy way. individual issues or you would buy yeah, futures? I, I, or, I, would you I, buy I bought, S&Ps? Uh, let me see. Yes and yes and yes. Because <laughs> you said you bought those, those uh, esoteric preferreds at 17 so you, you Esoteric A preferreds. little bit if you're buying them at 17 cents on they're the not, dollar. They're on the board. They're on the board. 12 cents, Joe, on the board. I thought you might just decide. Is the New York Stock Exchange esoteric? Just, I thought you might just decide <laughs> to go ETFs or S&Ps or something like we, that. We don't do I, a lot of ETFs, but um, we do S&Ps. But look, I mean... Okay, I, you know, I don't want to, I don't like to talk about Before stuff. Before you start right, that thought, let's, let's sneak in a quick break. Unless we'll you want to pay it. for the, the commercial. Who's, 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 going. Who's, uh, who's advertising? I think Emery Cat. Emery Cat. Yeah, yeah. Cat? yeah. Scratching yeah. Scratching yeah. Do you have a cat? Scratching yeah. Yeah. No, I have a dog. I told you, Yorkie. Uh, Benji. All right. So while we're here, we'll, we'll uh, sneak in a quick break, a lot more with our exclusive interview with, our, with David. Um, I don't know if it's because of what Tepper's been saying, but let's pretend for the moment uh, that it is. Uh, we are back with our rare exclusive interview with uh, hedge fund legend David Tepper, uh, the president and founder of Appaloosa Management, $12.4 billion under management, right where we left off. You sort of established the framework for the near term. But is this healthy long term? If the economy gets worse and Fed steps on the gas again, is that what we, is that what we really need? Or is that, is that what traders need? Is that what traders need? Well, what you need is you need um, the economy to start get going again. Okay, so... I don't know, you know, the long term, well, if the Fed does quantitative easing for the next five years, that's not good. But if the Fed does quantitative, if it doesn't get better on its own, right, we're talking about that scenario. Yep. If it doesn't get better on, the, on its own and the Fed has to do quantitative easing for a bit of time, no big deal. Do you but see if it? it was a continuous thing, it wouldn't be good. Yeah. If it's Japan? Do you see us as Japan? Yeah. No, we're not Japan. We're not Japan. You know, we're not Japan because what's your mortgage rate? You have a mortgage? I do. What's, what's your mortgage rate? Um... That's five, five and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Five and change. Five and change. Yeah. So if it's 4%, you save money, right? Yeah. Do you spend some of that money you save? You got it. Damn, that will work. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing okay, good. the Fed can buy mortgages. Okay, they can make it work. We're not at zero. Are we in mortgages? No. No. So we can go to 1%, 1.5%, 2%. On that way, you're buying stuff, right? You're buying stuff too, Joe, right? The, the, you have a mortgage too, right? I, I, heard you're, I, heard you, I heard you're the wealthiest one of the set. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you saw me buying a bicycle. Uh, wealthy. I don't He's feel... had more years in yeah, which exactly. to accumulate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. More years? Uh, Many more years. In terms oh, okay. of, I think we're all equal in terms of how, our family, which is the true measure of yeah, okay, wealth. Okay, uh, I agree with and, that. And I'm a big believer.